All right, what up, y'all? We in the Dove Shack. This is the No Pigeons Podcast with your host, Yucca. And uh, your boy, Slugger. Okay. Okay, now we got some shit we got to get you got through. some. You got some videos you found. Yeah, we got some videos we got to get found, go through. But uh, um, basically, <laughs> we just going to react. Can't expound on it. We just going to react. So, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's check this out. This one's called Lib Gets Hammered After Her Old Tweet Exposes Her. This is under Dinesh D'Souza's account. So, Y'all you know, know Dinesh, Dinesh. He, he go hard. So we, we about to find out. On social media, a problem and a threat to our democracy, Mr. Ward. Yes, absolutely. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Ms. Car- Carabayo. Yes. Ms. Nomani. Yes. Ms. Tyler. Yes. Yes. Um, Another question I have, uh, do you believe that rhetoric targeting officials with violence for carrying out their constitutional duties? Uh, Hold up, I got I to gotta point out some hypocrisy, right? What's up? On the left. Um, lefties, they do everything that they try to scold uh, right-wingers for, right? They do, every, they do all of it. They, 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 they deny elections. Right, yeah. they they uh they, they they make threats, open threats to, to politicians. They uh, claim uh, collusion from other countries. Exactly, and, they do all of that, right? But when the table was a turn, they got their hands up like, I didn't do nothing, right? So, uh, Bart Simpson, I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, he wasn't a Simpsons guy, huh? I mean, a little bit. All right, so I just had to say that real quick, but um, is a threat to democracy, Mr. Ward. Mr. Siegel. Yes. 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 All right. Thank you very much. Only a few weeks after the attempted attack on a Supreme Court justice on June 25th, one of the witnesses, Alejandra Caraballo, tweeted out the following in response to a decision on abortion overturning Roe v. Wade. And I'll quote directly from the tweet. The six justices who overturned Roe should never no peace again it is our civic duty to accost them every time they're in paul what does accost mean i mean depends how you want to use it but uh that ain't an answer accost it's like i mean you could physically accost someone verbally accost someone to approach and speak to someone in an often challenging or aggressive way so basically get at them yeah all right cool i got it i got it public they are pariahs since women don't have their rights these justices should never have a peaceful moment in public again i know something about being accosted the night of january 5th i was physically accosted on the streets of dc in navy yard by a constituent of mine i fervently blamed rhetoric rhetoric on social media rhetoric at public events for being physically accosted i carry a gun Everywhere I go. Imagine that. Imagine we could just carry guns in Canada. Imagine I mean, that. How beautiful would that be? I mean, there have been times where I'm kind of like heated and I'm like, maybe it wouldn't be the best time to have a gun on me. But yeah, just for self defense. Yeah, it'd be. Um, if I seen a motherfucker running up at me, like I've had motherfuckers jump to my window and it's just like a prank, like homies or whatever the fuck. Cause that's, that's one thing, right? But if they knew I was strapped, would they do that? I wouldn't really have to fear that as much, right? Yeah. I understand it's a prank, but, you know. It's a prank! It's a prank! It's a prank, dude. <laughs> when I am in my district and I'm at home, because I know personally that rhetoric <coughs> has consequences. I've had my car keyed. I've had my house spray painted. I had someone trespass in my house as recently as August. Well, Miss Mace, maybe you should uh, carry some mace at least. <laughs> at the least, right? Yeah. I bet your name is something funny pronounced like Miss Mace. Uh, Mace. I've been doxxed on social media about where I live. That's scary. Um, and I've had to add to security everywhere I go, often because I can't afford it. I have to carry my own firearm wherever I go. Oh. And um, Alejandra Caraballo also recently tweeted on November 19th, not even a As month ago, that the Supreme Court vested As with... All women should what? Carry a firearm on them. I highly disagree. Why is that? Uh, 
Because some of these bitches are crazy. Like, yeah, well, some dudes are crazy. I mean, like... I agree, but... But, but I mean, like... The ratio, the ratio is kind of, uh, uh, you know, exponentially greater on I one mean, end. I ain't pointing no fingers. You're saying bitches are crazy, and I feel you. I mean, especially these pigeons out here. Yeah. But, I mean... Still, like, I just think that they're also a little bit more uh, scared of, like, you know, real, real shit like that. Exactly. That fear could make you do some irrational shit. Especially when a bitch has gone off of two Starbucks and an energy drink. Oh, my gosh. Godly. And some vape. I don't know. But. With the judicial power of the United States by our Constitution stated they are not a legitimate court issuing decisions. And also the Supreme Court is an organ of the far right. So my last question today of Ms. Caraballo, do you stand by these comments, this kind of rhetoric on social media, and do you believe it's a threat to democracy? Thank you, Representative, for the opportunity to clarify and Whoa. provide context to my That's the one. I wonder if she's on uh, an LGB gang. You know, do you believe your rhetoric is a Alphabet threat to gang. democracy when you're calling to a cost a look at look at, her, look at her handle. Oh, yeah. That's clear. <laughs> she probably goes by Latinx. I'm sure she do. The Supreme Court. I don't believe that's a correct act, uh, characterization but of my tweeted, statements. Though. Did you not tweet that? That you thought that the Supreme Court justices should be accosted? Did what I'm saying is that that, that is no? not an accurate c characterization of my statements. On June 8th of this year, a man was arrested near Justice Brett Kavanaugh's home in Maryland. He told law enforcement officers he wanted to ki kill. Hold up. The six justices who overturned Roe should never know peace again. Yeah. What was the homeboy's name? The black dude. Uh, ben. No. Um, the old dude. He's a. Uh, uh, he's hated by liberals. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. You know, you know what I'm talking man. about, right? Yeah, I, I feel like it's a cliff or something. Clarence like. Thomas. Clarence Thomas. That dude, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah they coming for him. <coughs> Roe should never know peace again. It is our civic duty to accost them. Every time they're in public, that they are pariahs. Since women don't have their rights, these justices should have ne should never have a peaceful moment in public again. Hold up, how do women not have their rights? Do you not have the right to vote? Do you not have the right to a job? Do you not have the right to not be assaulted? You have all these rights. What are you talking about? Killing a baby is not a right. We can we can delve into the other aspect of the the morality of, of abortion. But it's not a right. It's not in the Constitution. I don't think it's in any Constitution, any kind of a, a charter of rights or nothing, right? I mean, they probably put it in the Canadian one now. <laughs> Trudeau put it in there, huh? Probably. Huh. Supreme Court Justice. He was found um, uh, with uh, a knife, with a pistol, two magazines, ammunition, pepper spray, zip ties, a hammer, crowbar, and... God, Lee. Ms. Carabayo. On page 12 and 13 of your written testimony, you Who's painted concerned parents oh, as Donald's. having been infiltrated by white nationalists and far-right militia groups, which played a significant role in school board protests. This has, not, this has not actually been my experience with concerned parents. In your testimony, you wrote that in Loudoun County, Virginia, unfounded rumors that spread in local parent groups on Facebook about an alleged trans student sexually assaulting a girl in a bathroom led to a firestorm. That shit happened. You seen that one? Uh, I don't think. Ah, uh, maybe yeah, it sounds a little familiar. So it was a dude, a trans transgender girl, or whatever. A right? trans woman. Yes. Okay. A girl actually. Okay, underage. Girl. Yeah. Okay. Underage. A trans girl. And had a history of all kinds of fuckery, right? And this motherfucker went in the women's bathroom, the girls' bathroom. Sorry, yeah. the girls' room, and sexually. assaulted, sexually assaulted this dude's daughter. So the dude came to the 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 the, the dad came to the um. I guess the parent teacher meet or what not parent teacher meet. It was like a uh, what do you call them motherfuckers? When uh, when uh, everybody come out like and a town hall kind town of thing? hall type shit, right? But with the with the school, right? Yeah. And he's like, "Yo, this motherfucker did this and did that." They had the police come in. They, first of all, one of the board members said, "No, you're lying." Wow. The sheriff said, "You're lying," you know. And then um, even the mother of the of the uh, the the crook, right? The toucher said. Um, yeah, my son's got a history of this and that, right? Mm. But they denied him and they arrested the father, right? I think they tried to charge him, too. Well, hold on. Uh, Mr. Donald's here. I mean, I don't know if he's a conservative or 
Republican or what, but his beard ain't conservative. If he is, that's what, I was, that's what I was gonna say. This is the most nicely lined up <laughs> black conservative I've ever seen. You got a crisp hairline. And you a got nice the Lloyd beard. Banks. You know what I mean? Nah, that's a lot. Lloyd Banks had the little chin strap, but he looked like he looked nicely lined up for a for a Republican. You know? <laughs> I know. I, I, I realize that Republicans don't really get lined up. They huh? get a little dusty sometimes with they the hairlines. They, they don't get they don't get fades or nothing like that, huh? <laughs> By a. But that's good for the future because you know next time I see a dude, a black dude, just kind of like looking a little. Sc- not scruffy, but suited up with no lineup. I'm like, what's up, bro? How, how you feel about abortion? <laughs> of, of several heated school board protests that descended into violence. But in fact, the perpetrator, it actually turned out, had committed two sexual assaults at two different Loudoun County schools mm-hmm. in 2021 and was arrested on October 7th, 2021 yeah, the by the Loudoun County Sheriff's Office. History of These violence. weren't unfounded rumors, as you suggest, it actually turns out law enforcement had to act because a sexual assault occurred. So giving this, I'm assuming that until now you were unaware of, of what happened here and you're gonna update your testimony for the committee. Is that correct? Mm. Ain't got mm. nothing to say. I wonder what she had to say. She ain't got nothing to say, right? Which is, it's no surprise there. Yeah. I kinda... mean, you can't really say ain't nothing to say because uh, it cut off, but uh, yeah, I know. That's what more I'm more that was. than likely she deflected. Like, let's be real. I'm not trying to sit through the whole the whole meet or whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah, she more more than likely deflected and uh, changed the subject or something stupid didn't, like that. Really answer like the these, question. Yeah. That's what these fucking uh, what do you call them? Shit libs. <laughs> <laughs> I got that from Jimmy Dore. Yeah, Please. I like that. I like that more than libtard. Libtard is just too kind of you know it's played out. Yeah. But shit lib is yeah. some shit we would say. Oh, well, we all for sure like. Yeah, because we eat shit dogs and, you know what I mean? We got a shit cat. Pause. Yeah, I got a shit cat. You know what I mean? I drive a shit car. So, yeah. These well, motherfucking hey. shit lives. You know what I mean? Until next time. Till next time. You cutting off already? No, yeah, man. We cutting yeah. off already? I got to just cut this one off real quick. What, you got a fart? <laughs> All right, cool, man. I'll see y'all later in the Dove Shack. Man, this is the No Pigeon Podcast. <laughs>